Namaste and welcome to React Bits. We are continuing on with our Flutter HypeDB tutorial series. In the first part, we learned the fundamentals of HypeDB by creating one time only welcome page that is displayed to user for the first time when, it, when they open the app. Then in the second episode, we learned how we could catch API data and load data even when there is no network connection from catch or from our database. Continuing on, we'll look at some more usable and advanced topic that is saving user favorites offline. So imagine a scenario where you have a post or you have articles or you have some other information that you want to allow users to be able to bookmark or favorite, make it favorite and read it offline even when there is no internet connection. So in this episode, we'll see how we can do that using Hive. So let's start by creating our new favorites box. So here, So we have a favorite box, right? Now in our list of post page, so we created this list of post from API in our previous episode. So here we'll add a button in the list style in trailing. Let's add a favorite button. So yes. Unpressed. So whenever user taps this favorite button, we want to save this post in the list of favorites and we want to create another page that will display from our list of favorites. So let's create another page. So let me just duplicate this. Okay. And let's change this to favorite space. And here we need to load data from Hive box. So what we can do is we can use this syntax value listenable builder. Okay. So here we will use instead of future builder, we will use value listenable builder so let's use this let's remove all of this So instead of settings box here, we'll use. So in body, we are using value listenable builder and our value listenable will be from favorites box listenable, right?
now let's make this lock body and here sorry box dot So list of post will be the box dot values or if it is null we can simply make an empty list so favorites can be empty so let's see I have messed up some brackets here I think we don't need this let me save okay so we have our favorite space now we can call that favorite space from here so here let's add accents and first let's add the routes here so favorites favorites space okay now i can call from here navigator dot post named favorites Okay, so we have our home page. We have a favorite button here. Let me hot restart. We have changed the navigation and stuff. So if I tap on favorites page, okay, we is not a subtype of list. Okay, it's a mapped iterable frame dynamic. So I can just simply make this. Sorry, not this one. Box dot values. List dot from. this okay and I don't need clear here okay this is favorite space let's name it we can simply remove this as well so here we'll show our list of favorites but now we need to add items to favorite so once we tap this what we can do is hype dot box favorites box dot put so in the key we'll use p dot i think p id and value will use p itself so we'll save the whole post in it now if we go back tap let's say two of these and then if we go to our favorite space we can see it here right and so going back here we need to show that if these are already in the favorites we need to indicate that and we can simply do that here while displaying the icon we can say something like five dot box sorry favorites box dot contents key p i d then
fabric otherwise border see now these two are already in fabric and if we tap the third one it doesn't work we need to hot reload so we need again value listenable builder which can check okay we can wrap this future builder or this list view with a value listenable builder so let's wrap with stream builder and change this to value listenable builder and our listenable will be hive dot box favorites box dot listenable got the bracket here okay and our builder will give us context box and we don't need the child and finally here we can use instead of this we can simply call box here again instead of this we can call box now every time we tap sorry we have we still have some error so this should have been value listenable now every time we tap it should update immediately now next thing we want to do is if it's already in favorite if we tap again we want to remove so what we can do in on pressed we need to check if box dot contents contents key id then we box dot delete id else we put so if box already contains remove the post from box favorites box if it doesn't contain put it so if we now look at the favorites we have one two three four five six posts if we come back and tap one of these it's removed we should only have one two three four and five posts and in favorite space we can simply make this button clear that will remove this from box dot delete p id okay so in favorite space we have a clear button with which we can tap and remove it from favorite once you remove it it's already removed and this favorite page as it makes no api call so whenever user saves anything in favorite it's available offline right we have saved the whole post data in the hype db and we are displaying the list of posts in favorite page from our hype db instead of making any api calls so all the data that is saved in the favorites are available offline all right so this is how we can get api data and allow users to save some of the data they want like bookmark or make a favorite list and save it offline so that they can read it later when there is no internet connection or on the go when they want to save their data okay so this is another huge use case that we can use hype db or any other database to create or allow users to save favorites bookmarks those kind of things offline for later reading thank you everyone for watching this tutorial see you again in the next episode